Okay, we're going to make a 3D view of our wireframe we've created in Illustrator. So the wireframes here, we just need to put our interface on once we've created it. You know, we can just put the interface on so we might have made it in another program or we might have made it in Illustrator. I'm just going to bring in a representative of uh, a home screen. So I go to File and I say Place. Okay, I'll go and select a little home screen here. Comes in, uh, I'll click here and just drag that out. It should be uh, the right proportion. So we've put on our home screen. Now, once we've done that, I'll just drag across to select them all to make sure they're all selected. And that's what you need to do to make sure they're all one entity. Um, you can right mouse click and group them so it groups it together. Now what we need to do is make the art board larger on the left and the right because we want to turn it around to make it 3D. I go to the art board tool and all I do is I just drag it out. It doesn't necessarily matter um, how wide you make it as you can adjust it later. Go and get the select tool, the black arrowhead, click on your object. You go to effects menu, you go down to 3D and you go to extrude and bevel. Then once you've got that, a pop-up panel will appear first thing you need to do is click on preview now that will just turn it around and you'll see where it was the plan view and where it currently is all you do is you can move it around here the visual representation of it and turn it around and the preview allows you to see that or you can move um, it on the dials for the axis now you'll see when you've got it you sort of it looks okay but you know it can look a little bit more realistic or a little bit more dynamic so if you go to the perspective and you slide that up a bit you'll find that, that will give a little bit better feel on it than we move it around don't worry if it goes slightly off the artboard you've got that and once you've done that you may want to adjust it around okay now once we've got that um, the other thing you can do here it's got the extrude depth we put up a bevel on there and that's what it's doing it's making the depth of our bevel now what we can do is take that up slightly so you can move the slider or you can type it in so if I make it 70 um, you can take it up and make it uh, a little bit more so I've made the depth a little bit more and um, take it up and down it's up to you now you can change lots of other controls and play around there that that's up to you but um, I've got those I'll just move this up and there we go so once you once you feel happy with it and it's in the right location and it's looking good and you've done the um, perspective on it and changed it around then you would just click OK now once you've done that you're back in here I can click um, on the object and it will move it all up and you'll see there's a little bit of a representation of where it was previously now you need to go up to the object menu and you need to go to expand appearance and that will sort of expand it to its new position you click on there and it will change it around so the wire framing um, has moved over now once you've done that I can just click on the object I can move it up uh, put it in position and again I can then go and adjust the art boards the way I want them to be um, usually you need to make sure you don't have massive art boards in here and once you've got that you've got that image now you can uh, save it as an illustrator file or you can then save it as other objects you can go down and save it as an SVG um, bear in mind that the interface I just put on is a bitmap ideally if it was all vector shapes you'd be fine with that but so be aware that if you do put a bitmap image that that bitmap image may not be scalable you have EPS's that you can save it as um, and capture a postscript image if you're going to save it for um, print uh, if I cancel out that and I go down to file menu and export now we can do it as a PNG we can do it as JPEGs lots of options in there and what you can save it as so you know, those things might be useful to you um, different formats okay so I've got that um, what I would do now is save it or ex export it um, ask what sort of rev resolutions it's got on there depending on what you want to output it as and what I will do is just go make sure it's got a transparent background that'll be useful and I click OK okay here's my image that I've saved the wireframe PNG if I open that up in Photoshop 
there we have it. So once it's in Photoshop, you can use it for other things. You can put it on websites, um, incorporate it in maybe posters for your mock-ups and use it for you know any sort of design work or to show clients about how your interface might look on a phone.